position is a statement which may be true or false. For example, sun rises in the east. So this sentence is true. That means this is a proposition. We can represent this proposition by using the proposition logic. So here, these are the syntax of the proposition logic. We can use variables to represent unique sentences. We can use the connectives. There are five connectives, negation, and, or, implication, and the equivalence. We can use parentheses and true and false. We also can use to represent knowledge. Let's take an example. Following facts are given. We have to convert these sentences to the propositional logic. Here, we have to find how many unique sentences are available. It is hot. It is humid. It will rain. So these are the three unique sentences available in the given facts. So we'll declare three different variables to represent these sentences. Age represents it is hot. U represents it is humid. R represents it is rain. So the first sentence, if it is hot, then it is humid, can be represented as H implies U. By using equivalence law, we can write not H or U. Second sentence, if it is humid, then it will rain. U implies R. By using equivalence law, again we can write it not U or R. The third sentence, it is hot today, so it will be represented as H. What is well-formed formula? We can define it in recursive way. An atomic formula is a WFF. If P is a WFF, Q is a WFF, on the time not P, not Q, P and Q, P or Q, P implies Q, P equivalence Q, these all are the well-formed formula. And any finite combination of all this is also the well-formed formula. So here is an example. Resolution is an inference process. By using resolution, we derive new knowledge from the existing knowledge. Let's take an example. Given two clause C1 and C2, we'll derive new knowledge C3 by using resolution. In C1, there is one literal Q, which is just the complement of another literal that is available in C2. So, when we'll apply resolution, on these two clause C1 and C2, we will get the resolvent clause as P or R. We'll delete this Q and not Q because they are complement of each other. We'll form a disjuncted normal form of the remaining literals. So we got the new knowledge P or R from the existing knowledge C1 and C2. This new knowledge is called the resolvent. Similarly, here. In example 2, we can see not P is the complement of P, Q is the complement of not. When we we'll resolve these two clauses, on the time we'll get the empty clause. The empty clause indicates it is a contradiction. We can't derive any new knowledge from this two knowledge. The empty clause indicates this is a inconsistent state of knowledge. Here is an example how we can apply resolution principle. Given the following facts, if it is hot, then it is humid. If it is humid, then it will rain. It is hot today. Prove that it is rain today. So again, we will represent these sentences to the PL. So these are the representation of the following sentences. Now we have to prove R means it is rain today. What we will do? We will apply resolution. So now apply resolution on C1 and C2. So on the time we'll get not H or R. Again, with this resolvent clause, we'll apply resolution with C3. Then we'll get R. So we can say R is the logical consequence of the given fact. So it is rain today. 